Wednesdays on Couple by in LA, it is Holy Wednesday. We are going to talk about some religious uh, theme topics as well today on the show. But before that, here's the real estate update for you, brought to us by the McLeod and Associates. This real estate buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod and Associates, a full service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell, it's about the difference we make in people's lives. What a beautiful team you have. Me and McLeod, hello and welcome to Kavabai in LA. Hello, it's good to be here. They're not only beautiful, they're also very smart and they will take care of you. In fact, every other Wednesday they come on the show to give us some updates about real estate, empowering us, giving us, arming us with information. And especially nowadays I hear, Mia, that um, is it what, a buyer's market, seller's market? All I know is so many people want to buy, Absolutely. but there's not enough inventory out there. There's not enough inventory, but that's why it's very important to come up with some strategies, some game plans before you as a buyer hit that market. So what are the chances for success if for people who want to buy? Well, before we get into these uh, strategies and chances and things like that, I just wanted to highlight some recent stats that came out by the National Association of Realtors. Mm -hmm. uh, a year ago, from, from one year ago, 15% of home sales have increased. Oh. And it's on its 20th consecutive month of increased sales. Wow, so it's just been going up. It's just been going up with uh, sales of uh, properties and um, houses. But just last month, February, 30% of buyers were cash buyers. Mm -hmm. And inventory is 20% less than than it was last year and in some areas even higher percentages so inventory is tight that's why we're seeing those multiple offers but these are not stats to discourage you as a buyer right. but just to understand what you're up against that way you can come up with a game plan with your realtor before you hit the market first of all why is it like that why are we seeing a decline or you know uh, less inventory now when we've been hearing about foreclosures or short sales well you know these banks if you talk to them now they're really trying not to foreclose like before they do want to keep these homeowners uh, in the property right, okay. so they're coming up with um, different tools like loan modification short sales foreclosure prevention type of tools but with saying that you know if you are a buyer in today's market and you are trying to lowball in a real estate environment like today you're really wasting your time okay. you know as a buyer when you hit that market you're gonna be up against aggressive offers mm -hmm. and some of these can be all cash buyers and these cash buyers are no longer lowballing like they did two to three years ago mm. they're coming in strong they're coming in aggressive and they're coming in above list price in many cases so what does this mean for buyers out there and how can we remain competitive what can we do to be competitive okay great question but I just want to throw one out um, example out there that, that our office experiences. When we list a property, it's not uncommon to receive multiple offers with, within the first 72 hours of that property. 72 hitting. hours? Yeah, so three days wow. sometimes we'll have nine offers and wow. a lot of these can already be um, you know, above list above, price. Yes, yes. So some of these strategies, uh, definitely this is where we as realtors can get really creative. We can come up with ideas that get our buyers to have that edge and to stand out. Mm -hmm. You definitely, number one, want to come in with your highest and best offer from the onset. In the event your offer doesn't get accepted, you never want to feel like you know, I should have, I yeah. could have, I could have done this okay. or have any regrets. At least if you come in strong from the very beginning, you know, you know that you put your best foot forward and maybe it just wasn't for you. But highest and best is not just price. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it could you could tweak the offer terms uh, so that it can you can stand out against mm -hmm. other offers. Things like maybe take the property in its as is condition. Mm -hmm. Don't ask for any repairs. Okay. Um, you know, if you don't need closing costs, don't ask for closing costs. Mm -hmm. If you're a buyer that does, of course, try to include that in there. But if you're up against 10 offers, that could put you at a big disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, the earnest money deposit, for instance, tell the seller, you know, if they accept your offer, you'll deposit that into escrow within 48 hours. So that says, you know, uh, seller, pick me as a buyer. And if you do, I'll put money in escrow into Two days. Right. This shows the seller how serious you are and it allows you to stand out. And you know, one really good thing is if you're a buyer that's planning to live in the property as an owner occupied property, you know, you definitely want to make sure the seller is aware of that and make that emotional connection. Oh, okay. Because, you know, even though you may be up against cash buyers, you know, sellers typically like to know that they're going to pick a buyer that's going to put the same love and care in that home that they did. And you know, so, I want to add one more tip to that because I think 
you're not saying it, but I think it's really important that you partner with a good realtor that will protect your interest and give you good advice. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, this is where there's other tools you can do. You know, the standard purchase contract is not necessarily just set in stone. Again, you can tweak it to make your offer stand out. And one last thing that I think a realtor's responsibility really is, and I emphasize this at the office to my team and to my agents all the time, the way you package out that offer from the beginning is extremely important. It's a true indication of who you are as a buyer, who you are as a realtor, and how you will handle that transaction in the event the seller picks your your uh, offer. Right. So, you know, uh, an offer doesn't just include the purchase contract. It includes the earnest money deposit, the proof of funds, the down payment, the FICO scores. And if you don't have that all there, it can cause the seller to have a question mark. So it's so. a full package. Full package. And you make sure if you're buying, you're looking to buy or looking to sell or list your property, that's the number to call on the screen, McLeod & Associates. You can trust them to hold your hand from start to finish. Thank you and more power to you. Thank you. Entertainment update. When we return, don't go away.